Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Tariq Miller from Soldier Tesla back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a wouldn't be chrome delete on my door handles because the Model Y's door handles are black. I'm going to be doing a black delete. Basically, I'm going to be making my black door handles on my Pro White Multi Coat Model Y Pro White. So I'm going to show you that process, show you how I did it, show you what tools I used, and I hope you like it. So stay tuned for the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Peace. All right, so today's YouTube video will be on me adding some pearl white multi-coat color match vinyl to my door handles um those of you that have that uh have seen my um when i owned my model 3 i had pillar delete on my model 3 so the entire top was black i had chrome delete pillar delete and i also deleted the chrome handles that were on the model 3 and i made them white to match the vehicle so i'm, I'm not going to do pillar delete on the model y because I, I don't think it looks as good as it does on the model 3 but i am going to delete the handles um in white similar to how i deleted the chrome on the t in the rear so the t in the front i totally removed it because i like that clean look in the front but i also like the t in the back but deleted with the Pro white multi-coat final. And I'm gonna do the same with the handles. So the items needed to um, to get this done is I purchased the um, pre-cut door handles from Abstract Ocean. Uh, they sent three sets inside this package. Um, you only need two sets to get the job done. That's four uh, handles, but they send an extra two just in case you screw something up. So they send the vinyl, they send some alcohol pads to clean the door handles and a little guitar pick there, or that could be used to push in any vinyl to make sure it uh, sticks properly. So we have that. Also gonna be using, in an effort to ensure that it adheres to the door handles, also allows you to be able to um, form the vinyl better. I'm going to be using a heat gun. It does help when you're dealing with vinyl, especially in cold climate. And it's kind of cold today. And that's all I'm going to need right now. So um, let's get this started. 